For this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to install WordPress automatically with Fantastico Deluxe. Now, if your web host offers Fantastico, this is a really easy way to pretty much just do a quick installation of a new WordPress site. So I'm on HostGator right now, and I'm in my Control Panel, or C Panel. And to find the Fantastico Deluxe icon, I'm going to scroll down until I find the Software and Services bar. Once I get here, Fantastico Deluxe is one of the software services that's offered. I'm going to double click it and this is going to allow us to install automatically any of the scripts that are listed over here on the left hand side. You'll see that it has blog capabilities such as Nucleus and WordPress. We're going to do WordPress. It also has content management, customer relationships, discussion boards, etc. Also, keep in mind that if you remove any of these scripts from your Fantastico folder, that it's going to free up one of your SQL databases. So let's go ahead and click on WordPress to see what details it will give us. Now according to this, WordPress is a blogging software with a focus on ease of use, elegance, performance, and standards with a huge selection of themes and plugins. So let's go ahead and click on it. And this gives us the home page, which is http colon backslash backslash wordpress.org. It gives us a link to the WordPress support forum. It allows us to do a new installation and it shows us current installations that are already in our site. So let's go ahead and do a new installation. And it's going to ask what domain I'd like to install it on. And if you use the drop down, it will show you the subdomains that we have for our site. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it on mlab.net and then I'm going to install it in a directory and I'm just going to name this directory WordPress. Now this will be in a subdirectory called WordPress that is on the domain mlab.net. If you don't go ahead and type in the name into the directory, it's going to put your files directly into your root directory. And keep in mind, as it says here, the directory should not already exist. You're automatically creating it by typing the name into the box for install in directory. Underneath it will give us admin access data and it's going to ask for your username and let's go ahead and put a name in and then a password and then it's going to ask for a base configuration. So the admin nickname is going to be and then it's going to ask for the admin email with your admin address, your site name and the description. And I'm going to click install WordPress. And now it tells us that the SQL database and the SQL user mlab underscore wrdp3 is going to be created and used for the installation. It also tells us that we chose to install in the domain mlab.net in a subdirectory called WordPress. And the access URL will be http colon backslash backslash mlab.net backslash WordPress. And to continue, we're going to go ahead and click finish installation. On the next screen, it's going to tell you that while HostGator does offer Fantastico, it's not going to actually give you support for the WordPress, but it will allow you to auto-install and auto-configure. And it's going to tell you you need a username and a password to enter into the admin area, and it gives you your username and your password, and then it gives you the full URL to your admin area. So if you'd like, you can hit Control or Command, whether you're on PC or Mac, and left-click, and it will open it up in a new tab. Once you get here, you can bookmark this so you'll automatically go back to your administration page when you want to go in and make any changes to your WordPress page. You can go back to the WordPress overview or you can choose to email the details of this installation. So I'm going to put in the email address that I'd like it to go to and I'm going to click on send email. It sent the installation details and I'm going to go back to my WordPress overview. Now I can log into WordPress, I can make my site up, and it will automatically save all of my changes into my HostGator site. So I hope this has helped you out and made this a little easier for you and given you a better understanding of Fantastico Deluxe, and we'll see you at the next tutorial. Thanks for listening.